Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Glory to his name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the wonderful name of the Lord. We're good, glad to be here today. Glad you're here with me here in this video. Listen, for uh, as we're here with Measure of Faith Worship Center today and giving you the word for the day. And this is about... Uh, 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 helping you to find a place in God if you don't know Him today. And if you do know Him, how to walk uprightly and in His righteousness today. And God bless you and I thank you for being here. Now, the light's a little blinding out of it, but at least I don't have, it's not hot. <laughs> we're not, we're over the hot for, for at least this morning. <laughs> And stuff because it's been very hot and during this, you know, I don't have the uh, permanent air in here yet, but I, uh, it was hot and sometimes it's, uh, it's a lot of sniffling and and and, and, and sweating trying to, trying to get this word across. But God bless. I thank you for allowing me this opportunity to talk to you and and to give you this word, bring this word forth, and all the power of that God, uh, uh, the Godhead, mightily. And, and bless you, and bless you. Uh, if there's a need in your uh, that you had today, I think God will meet that need as we go in and get into this word today. For because it's about flourishing in the spirit of and being planted in the Lord, flourishing in the spirit of the and being planted in the Lord. That's what it's about today, and that's what this little title is. And, you know, like I say, I, I, uh, I want to give a shout out to my friend over and pastor friend over in, in India, Pastor Megapu and, and Pastor uh, Sandy High. They, they're real good ministers of the gospel and, 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 and pillars of, uh, in Christ. And, and they uh, help to win lots of souls. And, and their, their goal is to, to, to reach a nation's reach the nations of the world, you know, sometimes it's about just uh, uh, hardly getting one person saved when they're trying to reach whole nations, and you can be that person too that does that today, because allow your fruit to, to, to bear more fruit, and that's what it's about, bearing more fruit today, flourishing, when you're flourishing, you're bearing lots of fruit, and that's what we should be bearing, and, and, and uh, more fruit today, and the fruit of the Spirit, and, 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 and the great things that God, being able to share them, give them, because that's what He did, He gave, and we should give, give more, give it away, you know, you know, uh, uh, you know and that's what it's about today, and uh, as well as my other uh, pastor friend and stuff, uh, Pastor uh, uh, Willie Burke that I work with and stuff, uh, Hope for the Lost Ministries about going out there and finding that one, leaving the 99 and finding that one as well. Sorry about the phone. People bother you. <laughs> and stuff. You, 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 you start to do something, you bet somebody's going to try to bother you. <laughs> but, you know, uh, but God bless and I, I praise you for uh, praise God for uh, uh, allowing me this opportunity. And I thank you for uh, if you're watching this and, and that you'll get an understanding from it. You'll get a, a touch from God from it and stuff. And uh, 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 as we get into this word, and uh, past, uh, as well as a good friend of mine, mine another, uh, is, is uh, Maurice Mayo. I give recognition to these guys because they do help me and they do. We encourage each other. We send each other texts. This, these phones, they're not just for, for gossip and, 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 and for playing games. You know, you, you don't have to be playing no game. You can be uh, uh, being fruitful as the helping others. You know, that's what it's about, is being the help, the servant to, to the Most High God, uh, being a, a, a care, helping His Word to get go forth. And because there's word to go out, it says, and not come back void. And you might be the one that leads your family to, to Christ. And you might be the one that leads a nation to Christ, our city, our state. 
something, especially in the in the in the crisis of, of that's out here today, and, and the pandemic as it's as it's dwindling down. As we as we pray pray that the goodness of God and the mercy of God uh, 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 eradicate this thing through you and through your fruit that you can have, you and your faith that by that, that goes along with that fruit that you'll be able to. Uh, uh, be able to pray for that one that needs that 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 prayer for his finances, or that needs that prayer for for the healing of his body, and and for the for one that's going through a great great ordeal or trouble, or, and needs a breakthrough. You could be the one that prays that for him, and help pray with him, and and pray him through, and pray him into the kingdom, and so so and he can get in line up with God's word, and that's what your fruit will help you to do is be able to. Uh, uh, Help others and help them, uh, and lead them to Christ, so that Christ can bear the, the, their their cares and their burdens. We can't bear them, but He can, and He will if we if we trust Him and, and, and call on Him and, and and allow Him to be our Lord. And like I said today, is about flourishing in the Spirit and being planted in the Lord. And we're going to start with going to uh, Psalms 92. I'm just going to read these scriptures out real quick and, and uh, uh, call it, uh, uh, make some calls and stuff. And, and I'll be put these on YouTube and, 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 and Facebook and you can get this message and, and many more. I have a playlist on, on Measure of Faith Worship Center. You pull that up and, 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 and YouTube and there's many of uh, 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 of videos on there for you to go through and to watch them and stuff and and, uh, and get your Bible get your Bible if you don't have a, want to tote a, a a written Bible a King James or or ESV or or any of these Bibles you can go on this little thing here and get you an app <laughs> I get with people all the time you know you might not have a Bible but you can you can have your hands on a Bible very quick you can have find words. You can find a calendar. You can go to Walmart and get you a, 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 a Christian calendar with, 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 with scriptures on it and quote them scriptures every day and stuff and allow them, so them to get, a, get in you and change you and transform you as it, it can transform your life and stuff. But as we get in this word today and that as well as uh, another good great friend and, 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 and uh, the Apostle Bridget Green out of uh, 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 and she's a nice lady of God, and she's on her hers is Trinity Unity Ministries, and she's a nice lady of God, and she she she, she does all kinds of different things, and uh, for the ladies as well as for the for the guys and stuff and stuff. But she's she uh, she's very diverse in the word, and get, can give you a word from God. And if you if you look her up on on Facebook or on, on and stuff. And she's on probably on other things. I don't know all of them, but she she's a great woman of God and stuff. And she does great things to to uh, help advance the kingdom by winning souls. And that's what it's about winning souls. You are you might be that one today needs a, a, a touch from God in your spirit to change your life. And we're gonna give a little prayer at the end of, the, of this uh, sermon and this message. And then you can you can make that decision. It's about making a decision that would be, that's when you start bearing real fruit. Right now, your fruit is not bearing. You 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 uh, you have to get in a place with God, and that's what it's about today. Is finding your place with God and stuff. And like I said, we're gonna go over to Psalms 92. That's if you don't have a Bible or you have a Bible now, you can get it. You go in the middle of the, the Bible, and that's usually Psalms and Proverbs. And we're going to start out with Psalms 92, and we're going to go down to the, the 13th verse of, of, of Psalms 92. And it says, "Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall be shall flourish in the course of our God. They shall bring forth fruit in old age, and they shall be fat and flourishing." Verses 15 says, "To show." That the Lord is upright and He is my rock, and there is no unrighteousness in Him, and that's what it's about. If you're bearing good fruit, there's no unrighteousness in you. You will walk uprightly before God 
and be bearing fruit. And the more you win souls, the more fruit you shall bear. You and the more you grow in the things of God, the more fruit you shall bear. And you'll become flourishing. You know, you have to nurture a plant. A plant, you just stick it a seed in the ground. When that plant starts to uh, flourish, uh, coming up out of that ground, you have to give it nutrients and that that maybe the soil is lacking. And it, and, and so being planted in the Lord and in the house of the Lord, you'll you'll get those nutrients because you'll hear good preaching. You'll 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 uh, desire more. It says uh, when you uh, hunger and thirst and desire for more of God, He'll fill you. He'll fill you to overflowing. You, you, but you've got to have that desire. You've got to want more of God. You've got to want more of what, uh, what uh, the things of His uh, that He has for for us and for ordained for us before the foundation of the world. And so then also I want to uh, then we'll go over to Proverbs eleven thirty. Sound like a time, <laughs> but we're gonna go. You go further. You go past. Psalms and go to Proverbs, and we go to Proverbs uh, chapter 30, uh, chapter 11, verse 30. You do like me and just mark your Bible, and it'll be a lot easier. And you just go right to it. You can, I, I guess, you can bookmark in on, on those on um, uh, 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 in that uh, those Bible apps. You get a good Bible app. You can just bookmark it and mark you out to all the scriptures that you need for. For for bearing fruit, or or for 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 uh, healing, or for for uh, 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 finances, you can go in there and you can do these things and get in the word and allow the word to work for you. That's what God gave us these two, these instruments and these, this Bible is to help help us. You know, He didn't leave us nor forsake us by giving us this word. He's never forsaken us because He's right there with us. He was the Word made flesh and dwelt among us and stuff. And so we we find great favor in God's goodness and 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 and, and, and the fruit that He bore. He bore great fruit for us. He became a sacrifice, as I, my message last week about being uh, being uh, an offering and a sacrifice for us. And, 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 and so that we can be great fruit bearers and, and, and be planted in the house of God. You know, uh, and, and, and there's been many that, that, that uh, won this freedom for us in this, in this world and in, in this country. You know, you know we're not under it. This, he, my little pastor friend over there, he was telling me how a man and a woman was, there was a pastor in a church and they, and they came in and beat them up. <laughs> You know, they, there's strong persecution in these other countries, you know. For, and that was, and it was a thing where someone had said that they, they didn't, they had, it was a misunderstanding because these people didn't do nothing wrong. As Christ, I said last week, he did nothing wrong, but the, but the Jews said, give us the murderer instead. You know, it was a choice, but they, they, they took the murderer instead, Barabbas, and said, and said of Christ, they, they, they offered him, to uh, told him to crucify him, make him a sacrifice, you know. And so, uh, but like I say, you know, we uh, uh, go over to uh, uh, chapter 11 of Proverbs, and we're going to read the 30th uh, verse. And it says, The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that winneth souls is wise. Verse 31, Behold, the righteousness shall be... Uh, recompense in the earth much like the wicked and the sinner. You know, because we're here in this world, we're not exempt from, from, from failure and we're not exempt from it. But if we only look at, at our success in winning souls and, and, and helping to advance this God's uh, uh, kingdom come and His will to be done, you know, uh, uh, there'll be times there'll be uh, it rains on the just as well as the unjust, you know. <laughs> but God is there with us always, you know. And we, He said, He's not put no more on us than we can bear. But our success and our, our is in Him and, and and through Him doing the things that He's called us to do. And, and you know, just like you on your job, you do what you you is required of you. I've done another message on that. You can find these messages. Like I said, on on Facebook, or or YouTube, 
and they they'll, they'll uh, can help you mightily. They all given and inspired by by God, and 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 and, and I hope that that you would go on there and, and find them, and you know, and and share them. You know, I don't have no no subscriptions on there, but you know, you can you can uh, uh, hit a comment. I love comments. You know, God loves your comments as long as your comments uh, uh, can can show that you're flourishing in the spirit and not. Not walking after the things of the flesh and things of this world and stuff that can corrupt you and stuff and and and, and draw you away from God because that's what he the devil wants to do. his tactics is to, is to draw you away from God allow you not to hear messages like this here he don't want you to hear this message and but you have to have an earnest desire for to hear these messages and to want more of God and stuff and uh, and so that you can. Uh, eat of the tree of life. The fruit of righteousness is a tree of life, and that's what putting life in you. The life in that, because Christ says, "If I, you abide in me, I abide in you." You know, and like Him, the Father is one. You and Christ can be be one, and that and and, and, and by winning uh, souls makes you wiser and stuff. And then we're gonna go here also over to to. Uh, uh, to John the, the the 15th chapter you go into the New Testament first I'm going to uh, read out of Matthew we're going to go to the book of Matthew which is the first of the four, four Gospels and you go over to the book of Matthew and there's just a few scriptures here and stuff and then, and, and, and uh, as we as we uh, uh, continue this message and stuff and, and like I say it's about you doing these things for yourself not just depending on a pastor teacher or, or this one or that one get in there for yourself and allow the Holy Spirit to open these things up for you and rec by receiving him today as we close this message out and stuff I'll give a, a prayer for you that you can pray and, and if you earnestly believe in God will he, he says he's a just God to forgive you of all your sin and that's about us recognizing we are sinners. You know, we have all said is we're all sin and come short of the glory. But God can restore you through Christ who, who became that sacrifice for us. And like I said, uh, we're going right now uh, to continue with the word by going over to Matthew, the seventh chapter. You got a little marker. You can mark it. That's the good part about the Bible. You can mark it with the, you, if you don't want to write in it. You know, you, it ain't going to hurt you, and you're not, you're not going to, lightning's not going to hit you if you, if you write in your Bible, you know, and you can get two Bibles. If you buy one, buy two, that way you can mark one and have one to, uh, just to uh, put some, some uh, little, you cut you up some little strips and put in there, or, or you might want to uh, put a little piece of string or something. Some Bibles have, 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 have them come with tabs and stuff, but you can do that, you know, just allow, allow you uh, be something, be this, be part of you, and be be what you are, because that's what it is. We was God uh, made all these things uh, for us, and He given us His Spirit, and and because Christ, when He uh, was about to ascend into heaven, He said, He said, I, I go, but uh, there'll be one that comes. He'll He'll teach you in all things and all truths, and that's what it's about. He's he trying to teach us today, and through His Word, if you just have an ear to hear what. His spirit having to say, but as you look here in uh, Matthew this is seven and go down to fifteen, it says, "Beware of false prophets which come to uh, to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are raven wolves. And uh, ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes or thorns or figs or thistles? Even so, every good tree." That's why this, 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 these scriptures here about being the good tree. And if you're flourishing, you're, you're a good tree. I've had um, 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 two, two pear trees, and man, they'd be so loaded, the, the limbs be laying on the ground from the weight of, uh, of, the, of the good fruit that's on those trees and stuff. I couldn't even get rid of the fruit with so much of it and stuff, and, and it'd break the limbs off. And that's what we should be. Our fruit should be just... Uh, so flourishing on a tree that, that someone wants some of it. 
you get a good tree and it's and it's got good fruit on it, especially like an apple tree or or a peach tree or something like that. There, people want them. You know, I lived I, when I lived in Florida. You know, you go by and see an orange grove full of full and, and flourishing, and and, 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 and 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 during the time right before harvest, man, them oranges be just just falling off the tree and stuff. Same with grapefruits and tangerines and tangelos, all these great fruit is fruit that grows on trees. And and we actually had a banana tree at one place that I worked at and they we ate the bananas off the tree and it was it was just uh, uh, it's unbelievable how uh, uh, those things can, can flourish and, and and stuff and grow and you can grow the same way in God today and that's what it's about helping you to grow in the Lord and and and, and in the abundance of His Spirit and in the abundance of His, His grace and mercy and love today and stuff. And uh, that was verse 17. And then verse 18 says, A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. And verse 19, Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is swung down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits you shall know them. That's what verses 20 and that's what it was, 15 through 20 of verse of, of Matthew 7. A good tree that um, bears good fruit. And that's what we want to be. We want to be the good tree. The good servant. You want good children. <laughs> you raise them up to be good adults. <laughs> you know, they don't always become good adults. And that church people's children too. So let's get preaching a good, good message here. Because, you know, they, 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 they're influenced by the outside world. They, they're very impressionable and, all, all, and, and they can be the uh, same way as you are very impressionable and stuff. And, and when you're an a, 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 a infant and a child of God, as a child of God growing up, so, but you need to allow not the, the, the false uh, word to get in you or the false prophets to, to try to, or false people to try to deter you from, from uh, wanting more of God, you know. You got to want more of God. You got to desire more of God. You got to be the one that that, that, that uh, wants to flourish and the wants to uh, more of God and, and wants to bear the fruit that He He wants to, to to raise in you. He He He'll plant those seeds in you and grow those things that needs to be uh, uh, there in you and stuff. And those those fruits are 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 are, are, are uh, uh, those things that He wants. Those the sunny characters and attributes that's in him and in him and, and in Christ and stuff and we we can bear those fruits you know goodness and, 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 and meekness and, and long suffering those things that those get those gifts that he can give you and those fruits that are be in you and stuff and so so we uh, like I said uh, then we're gonna go to over to John 15 you go to the last one of the four Gospels that Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and they're not the Beatles. <laughs> that's that's another story and stuff. But but we're gonna go to uh, the book of John, which is the last of the four. I said that's in chapter fifteen. Chapter fifteen of that. that, that and, uh, if you go to chapter fifteen, and we're gonna read verses one and two, because he says, "I am the true vine," and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, and it may that it may bring forth more fruit. You know, that's when you're flourishing, when you can bring forth more fruit. You know, that tree, the, the fruit falls off that tree, those seeds die, fall into the ground, and then more trees come, and more fruit come. You know, it can be a, a, a repetitious thing once you get that fruit to, to bearing and stuff and and, and, the, uh, and stuff and you know I, I was saying about Florida and, and, and or being around uh, plant and plants and stuff you see you know you can take one seedling and and, 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 and create a crop that's what that's what you know the uh, uh, the farmer but when, at the end of the, this the, the season he gets the, the best seed out of the out of the crop and he, then he saves that seed for the next year's planting and you can and that's how you should be as well uh, and stuff because because you got to be planted in the Lord 
you know, rooted and planted in the in, 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 in Christ and stuff. And uh, we go back over. You go into uh, Corinthians. You'll find you'll find about the about the fruits of the spirit and stuff. You go over into. here and you can continue to find uh, find these here scriptures and stuff in, in there and stuff and it says uh, for we walk by faith and not by sight and stuff and, and that's what it's talking about and, and, and uh, uh, tells you how to, how, to, how to walk in your Christian life by you read Corinth, uh, the, the, uh, the book uh, the first and second Corinthians you'll get a greater understanding of how, as a as a as a new believer, you should walk in the in the things of God and stuff. And that's how we should be. We should walk walk in His and in, in, uh, those and those in those fruits, meekness, temperance. Those all these things here come. And these are fruits that that. That, that can be seen in you and seen in those Christian people, friends and, and, and that you you know that you have and if you don't see those things in there you beware you know beware and, and know that, uh, that uh, you need to be around like-minded people and, and uh, know, know that God God's trying to get you away from those things but to get you uh, get you up uh, Rooted and grounded and, and flourishing in Him and stuff, and by by allowing you to exhibit the the better fruit that you need to uh, to have, and there it lists the fruits and stuff in, in, in the book and stuff, and but God bless, and I, I thank you, like like I said, for for being here with with me for. For this word and allowing this word to work for you and and have it have it on, uh, uh, and you have the ear to hear what he has to say today through this word. And here it was, just right here. Rejoice not in iniquity, but rejoice in the truth. Bearing all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things, and that's what is. Charity. That was another one there. That was charity and stuff. We we we. God is a, a a charitable God. He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever should believe in Him should have ever uh, should not perish, but it should have everlasting life. And it goes through and gives you uh, these these uh, these different ones and stuff. And uh, but you uh, like I said, we it's about flourishing. And knowing God today, you can know God. You know, but that's pretty much the scriptures for today. And that last one was John 15, 1 through 2. But you can go also, like I say, and find the other uh, other types of, uh, 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 and a, a listing of all the different fruits, uh, and the characteristics of the fruits that should be in you as a, as a Christian and stuff. And know that. And know that God, God, in you is the hope of all glory, and is the hope of glory for others, and that's what it's about. You know, um, uh, if you exhibit those those fruits, someone will want some of it. You know, the more of you they see a, a God in you, the more they'll want. Same with you. The more you see a God in someone, the more you'll want to, to know what what they're doing, what they know, and and how's that how it affects them and how it can affect you. And that's what it's about today. And that's what I was uh, trying to find that. But, but we're going to go to uh, 
right now I'm going to just say a little prayer with you and I, like I say I want you to recognize say to you, uh, say this out loud to you and that just allow people to uh, allow yourself to uh, have an open mind and open heart and, 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 and desire more of God today and know and, and say just say Lord Jesus I know that I'm a sinner I know that you died for my sins Lord God and through you, I, you can forgive me of all my sins through the death, burial, and resurrection of, uh, that you, that only you uh, uh, did through it for, for the love of the Father as the Father sent you and you, you gave your life for me on the cross and you shed your blood for me and then in the, uh, you were put in a, in a tomb and on the third day you rose and, 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 and now I, have eternal, I can have eternal life through you by your sacrifice, by that offering that you, uh, by you offering yourself as that living sacrifice, that lamb slaughtered for for our sins, and for there had to be a, an atonement for those sins, and that and you became that atonement for the sins of this world. And I thank you, Lord God, and come into me right now, Lord, and be my Lord, be my God, my Father, my my hope, and my promise, and, and help me with my faith. Help these messages, this message, uh, the, help me to become more fruitful and they, and to be able to uh, be able to give more of myself and give give and find the success I, I through through you and that you preordained from the foundation of the world for me. And as I give you all the glory and honor and praise, and I, I thank you for these things today in Jesus' name. And he said, if you confess this prayer, you confess these things before him or before man, he'll be, he's a just God to forgive you. Now you need to get in a church somewhere and, 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 and grow in that church or grow in the word, you know, by finding some other like-minded people, like-minded people that know, know the Bible or, or, that, or, 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 or want to teach you and to help you. There's a, lots of them out there. And like I said, the Bible apps, there's ministries on, online, you know, there's help, help, help ministries online and stuff. There's no excuses. You can do away with the excuses and just get to work. Because <laughs> it says the, the harvest, it, it, the, the fields are white, but the, but the, and, and the heart, the, uh, but there's few laborers, you know, the harvest is white. So this is, we're about to go into autumn, and you know, they, 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 they uh, the, here there's a lot of, uh, Farms and stuff, and and and, and, and there's uh, this, they're put laying in the sickle to try to cut the cut the harvest and harvest it. So so for the for the uh, and same way. So if you want to flourish in the spirit and be planted in the Lord, you it's up to you. You have to submit your free will to those things and allow allow uh, uh, God more time. You to build these relationship with God, you got to give God more time. And give his spirit more time to and, and help and, and, and call on him and and, 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 and and it's just like they did in the garden walking with him daily you have to make it a daily sacrifice and walk with him help him and, and ask him for his help allow, allow him to know your cares not just whine, whine to God <laughs> it ain't about whining to God it's about allowing him to uh, uh, help you with your cares and lead you in the steps that you need to go help you and direct you and so that you can be a flourishing good tree planted in the house of the Lord. And that's pretty much my message for today. But God bless you and I thank you for, for allowing me this time to, to uh, uh, pray with you and to give you this word. And now it's to, 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 uh, if you pray this earnestly in your heart, you are a born again new believer in Christ and you can flourish by getting more into this word, allow this word to, to grow in you. And if you are already a good Christian, this could help you even more to, to know that you need to be more of a doer of the word and not not just a hearer. It's, it's okay to hear the word and to hear good message, but allow this message to work in you and work for you and work through you. Okay, there's, there's steps to everything, and you don't go to your job and just sit down. You have to do something, you know, and that's what it is. This, I, I just hope it might, uh, uh, that this stirs you today to do, do something or do, uh, and, and get moving and, 
and, and, and your spirit and so you can grow in your faith. In the same way, if you need healing in your body, we can pray right now for the healing of your, uh, of your body. And Lord, Heavenly Father, touch them, Lord God. If there's one out there, Lord, that um, uh, needs healing, touch them, Lord God, right now. Allow your spirit to, to, uh, uh, of healing virtue go into them right now. Whatever the problem is, from the head to, the, to their feet, Lord God, any, any, uh, 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 allow healing to rush through them, Lord God, like a, like a mighty rushing wind, and, and, and cleanse them, Lord God, and, and, and Lord, and, and, and make, make them whole in you, Lord God, as well as if, if it, that you need a, 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 a prayer for your, for your breakthrough, uh, for your finances. Lord, bring them the provision they need, Lord God. Help them, Lord God, to, to see their wrong and, and, and Lord, uh, be able to uh, grow and flourish in you, Lord God. And, and let, Lord, uh, help them find a great great church and find a great uh, other great believers and, and like-minded people. And, and so they'd be a draw closer to you, Lord God. And we give you glory and honor and praise for all things in Christ's mighty name. And I thank you, like I said, thank you. And, and for being here at Measure Faith Worship Center and being with us today. And God bless you, and I hope you have a blessed and wonderful Sabbath in Christ. You know, pick out one day a week. It, you know, you don't have to uh, be uh, uh, bounded by one, you know, by, by being Sunday. You can, any day, you can just make a day, a Sabbath day unto Him. You know, He's not, he, God's not uh, uh, bound by... Uh, legalistic uh, ideas and stuff. He just wants you to be uh, in relationship with Him. And God bless you, and I thank you, like I said, for being here and being, uh, or viewing this message and allow this message to go out to others. Help me to get it out to others, you know, because you could be the one to help these other nations. Pray for these nations. Pray for my, my, uh, my Indian pastors over there in India. Pray for the ones in, in the other countries, in China and for and to in uh, Israel, pray for Israel and and pray for 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 Russia and all these other countries and pray for our nation as we get ready to go into this election uh, in a couple months and stuff and as we pray for the leader of this country, pray for the president and the, and and the, and the house and the and the congressman and the, your 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 state and, and local leaders and stuff. You know, don't just be a whiner about the things and and a protester. Find out what you're protesting about and by, 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 by uh, applying prayer to it and, and, and faith to know that God can change all these things. God can make a, make a way when it seems to be no way. And He can make a way for you and, and, and all this as well. So you can be flourishing and, and, uh, in the Spirit and planted in the house of the Lord. And planted in the Lord. God bless you and thank you, like I said, for, for being here today. And like the great picture my my mother-in-law uh, made, uh, it's all embroidered. It's a uh, uh, things of fruit. Be that great the the, the fruit of the uh, of the spirit and uh, and grow mightily in Christ. And we'll give Him all the glory and honor and praise in Jesus' name. And thank you once again for, for being here at Measure Faith Worship Center today. In Jesus' name, we ask all things. Amen.